Good morning, gamer. What's going on, man? I'm Red K. The loneliest wolf by choice. I should and, say uh, I am the loneliest wolf by you, choice. You are like the loneliest wolf out there. by choice. I, uh, I, I miss the space background. Um, as you can notice, my background's a little, it's the same, but I look different. I decided to be a little bit easier on the on the uh, on the eyes instead of having yeah. like this weird janky thing behind me. So I just have a blur. It's just blur, which you can see it par like partially blurring out my hair and stuff too. Yeah, I think um, I need to get a little bit closer in the next episode. Like look, the cam maybe needs to be a little bit closer. I mean, you're good. Look at look at the stuff behind you and stuff on the wall. And yeah, yeah. There's a little ambiance. There's a, there's a little bit of ambiance. I blurred all mine out, so you can't see what's behind me. It's just a white <laughs> wall. Though, man. Uh, today, if you live in Florida, especially the um, the age for getting the COVID-19 vaccine has dropped to 18 up. So that means if you're 18 years of age or up, you can get vaccinated. You got to go online to, uh, you know, Publix, Winn-Dixie, CBS, whatever, to go get vaccinated. But go do that. And if your mom won't let you, just sneak out. Be a rebel. And, uh, you know, go get vaccinated so you don't kill other people. So uh, that's my PSA. You know, we do good stuff here, right? Yeah, good stuff thing sometimes <laughs> all right so there's a new game out um it's called noraka blade point uh it is uh was shown at the future game show presentation uh during the show uh you saw a little bit of gameplay it's a 60 play battle royale from 24 entertainment so um i saw this and i was like ah this looks pretty interesting so um we're gonna check it out together I've never heard of 24 Entertainment. But it looks cool. Yeah, same. That I've never heard of before. How does it play? <laughs> so the company's called 24 Entertainment? Yeah, 24 Entertainment. Got some stuff going on that I'm guessing is not the players. Some like world events type stuff. We got arrows and swords and stuff. So it's a, uh, you, it's a third person, like almost, what's the game uh, by, by, by Tecmo? Got to be more specific. Um, where uh, demon is demon souls like, but not. Oh, uh, um, uh, Neo. Yeah, a little, a little Neo, but not, of course, way faster. Yeah, way faster. Like almost Ninja Gaiden style. I'm trying to find. Okay, 24 Entertainment is a Chinese game studio founded by a group of artists, engineers, and designers who are all veterans of the game industry. Like who? I want to know what they've done and what they've worked on. Founded by who? Uh, a chi they're a Chinese game studio that's been was just founded by a group of artists, engineers, and designers who are all veterans in the game industry. I wonder who they are. Yeah, because this looks, I mean, this is a, this looks like what I've been asking for, actually. Like a battle royale game that's not a first person type of game. This is like stylish, stylish action RPG almost, you know? Oh, so you don't want to play uh, Fortnite? I mean, not first as person? Much, as much as I like, uh, you know, seeing Ryu with a gun, this is more. This is more hand to hand combat than I like. And not in the sense of like uh, the way, um, what's the game by by uh, um, by Ubisoft, where you're like a, a samurai, a, a, a guy from England. Oh, uh, for honor. Yeah, for honor. Where for honor is very strictly, um, you know, for the most part, uh, um, hand to hand combat. It's not stylish action. It's a little bit more slower. It seems a little bit more fast paced and more flashy, for lack of a better word. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm really down for it. I think it's uh, coming out for PCs and uh, Playstations. Uh, if we get it over here, but uh, it looks really dope, a different kind of um, 
battle royale, I guess you could say. I give it a shot. It's a lot of like uh, high flying and uh, uh, looks like you're going to have to really be uh, thoughtful about how you do certain attacks and movements and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, like I'm your movement there. seems like they're really, it's really going to matter. Like uh, you're um, like almost like a fighting game almost. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm vibing a little bit. There was a, what was it? There, there was a one uh, fighting game. Was it Absolver? I think it was called. Yeah. Absolver, what? which is still going on. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Which I thought was like really, really good. Um, play really differently than a lot of other games um, yeah. uh, but I, I think there's it left a little bit to be desired when it came to like the full uh the full breadth of the map and stuff like that yeah like uh, uh, then you had to learn the moves and stuff and like i said it, it it looked it was a little bit um more uh inviting than this game this game seems like i'm playing some kind of devil may cry stylish action platinum type game in a battle royale so that's what I wanted. I mean, you're getting your game now. I know, uh, and you know, it's uh, like I'm, I'm going to play it for like a day and, and not play it anymore. But I mean, um, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. But I don't know. I, you know, I, it does seem like a game that I really would like to play, uh, especially because there was other things going on in the world too. You had these big giant whatever's like fighting each other, and on the other side, like of the map. So it's like uh, stuff in the map going on and not at the same time. You know, I know. Uh, Halo, Halo did a good job of that last time when they had like, like a random, like, I forget what the, the mode was called. I know it's a shooting game, but like you would go and like you would have like your battle royale situation or your team or something like that. And like the Covenant would be fighting each other, but you were also fighting against the other teams and stuff like that. I think having those little things in the map. Um, uh, 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 what's the name of the game? Um, Apex's Big Brother. Oh, Titanfall? Yeah, Titanfall. And Titanfall would have things like that where you would have NPCs and in the map that you yeah. have to fight yeah and you could actually that was that was actually a lot of fun I, they need to just bring back goddamn titanfall titanfall 3 or apex or, isn't that fun a, titanfall or just i just say apex your titanfall is ready Do, no i don't want them to have have that in there because it's going to be not be the same as titanfall the entire thing with titanfall was just like the fast combat and then fast combat next thing you know mechs that could just come at any time so or just having like straight up mech battles which is really cool I the do apex sure just doesn't apex just doesn't do it for me like i, I i've played it it's just like ah, i can't i can't get it get behind it too much yeah I, it's it's i'm starting to slowly get into it it's taking me months though um a game developer which who i love platinum they basically make you know they're they're the guys behind the first ninja gate and um uh um they what, what's the game they made with um with the b2 uh near automata near automata um uh the game of, uh they just make all these great um stylish action games hack and slash uh, stylish hack and slash right yeah uh, hack and, and uh, slash games and they just announced which i was very excited for this game called world of demons uh, i've heard about it i heard of teasing it i was waiting for the um the trailer to drop and you know what? let's just let's just look at, look at the trailer before i say anything about the game because I was, I was a little disappointed, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. I mean, I don't know. The game looks already like it's going to be amazing. It's a platinum game. What could be wrong? It is platinum. I was thinking maybe it was on the Switch. Grab a little, you know. It's got a little Okami in it, you know? Yeah, like a, uh, like a, um, as an ink brush style. Mm -hmm. These are some ex-Capcom guys anyway, so I wouldn't be surprised, you know? Yeah. Got some of them worked on Okami. It looks super Japanese. I know, it looks really cool. Like the electricity and the water and the bending and the, the dimple characters and and this is where I got this is where I lost it <laughs> well it's just uh it's just a uh, uh it's just a uh, uh oh uh, yeah, it's, a yeah. phone. it's a phone it's a phone game that will also Whoa. be on Apple Arcade but it is a platinum game however uh I I mean uh, uh, I'm yeah. still surprised at how many game developers are still trying to do the mobile gaming thing. Yeah. 
And Platinum's not really big on like the um, in purchase things. Well, Apple's really pushing their arcade, right? That's the reason why they wouldn't allow uh, Game Pass to be on their service. More than likely, yeah. So like they're really trying to push Game Pass, uh, you know, uh, Apple, Amazon, uh, and you know, the game, uh, uh, the game market for uh, mobile games, they make a lot of money. Especially well, yeah. Well, Apple Apple doesn't have like a hadn't had a dedicated like gaming thing in so long, mm -hmm. as well as you. It's it was at one time really hard to play uh, uh, any type of game on uh, Apple system. Like they, you'd have to have they'd have to literally make it for the uh, Apple OS, so or the iOS, and so for the longest time because I had a Mac for like years, um, or I only had a Mac for years. It's like you can play anything, any of the title, uh, top titles on it. Steam slowly started to integrate some of their stuff in when I was I really was like, I really would like to play games. But there wasn't anything really you could play that was like overly fun that you play with other people. Now they're starting to really trying to roll out with like Steam is giving more iOS uh, uh, games, so, some supports so or their stuff for iOS. Um, there is now they have their uh, Apple Arcade. I mean, it's, it'd be interesting to see like where they're planning to make, take the next step for everything. But I think this is a long time come for Apple. They have to compete with uh, gaming if they want to kind of survive doing the tech thing. Exactly. Are, I mean, you know kind of, sort of, because they make a crap ton of money off of selling their stuff overpriced. But I mean, that's just me. <laughs> do you do you know um do you know if they are you if you're able to play uh, games on the Apple TV? Is that a thing you can do? I Besides don't think the... so. I think really they're focusing primarily on phones or their mobile devices and um uh, uh their uh MacBooks, MacBook Pros, uh, uh and their um. Their Mac, uh, your Mac towers and stuff like that, your iMacs and stuff like that. So, I mean, um, if you wanted a game like this for for your game, you couldn't pick a better uh, publisher. I mean, or, or, or developer to fit to make it in platform. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're they're, they're the top of the game. I I, I play the uh, the cop game on the Switch sometimes. I'm yeah, I really I really need to play that. I it's so that. good. It's my it, Switch it, is not getting bad. any love. Like I haven't even play, been playing Smash or even in the older uh, um, titles that they have for their little emulator on the system. I haven't uh, played we'll, anything. I don't we'll, even know if what new games have added to it. Well, we'll, we'll, it's a lot. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll blame that to the pandemic, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. But um, Apple Games, uh, they had an Apple Game Showcase. Remember what was that thing called Stadia? That was a long time ago. That used to be a thing. That, Never uh, heard of it. Yeah. Anyways, me neither. Uh, but yeah, there was an Apple Showcase. They did, it was. They're all pretty big deals. So I mean, well, I guess if they're still doing, if they're still investing money in it in 2022, I would say that maybe they maybe they'll be here for another couple of years. But I don't we'll think see. they're gonna last the year though. I w we will see. I'm gonna look for we the game though. If I if I if I find a game, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some recording on it since it's a platinum game. Right. Um. Good morning, FGC. Is it that time already? It is that. Time, um, good lord, this shook weekend. everything. Big weekend, though, is it? It was a big weekend. We got some announcements and maybe, maybe some something that Capcom never does. Uh, what's that? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, well, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, they're having their uh, their live stream for uh, announcing their spring thing coming up here soon. So, there's gonna be a lot of like balance changes that are gonna be coming up. As well as uh, they might be showing off Akira from Rivals Wolf. Maybe. We don't know. They're speculating it. Uh, Oro is going to be uh, probably going to get some uh, get some uh, love and look in it. Uh, as you can see, his wonderful mug on the thing. Uh, the one thing I do have a problem with this new Oro is uh. in Street Fighter 3, he only fought with one arm, right? He had his other arm like tied up in his... Like, like, he was, yeah, he was I'll give you a chance. I'm so powerful. Yeah, he's too powerful to fight you. Now he's just like both hands out, whatever. Really? Like, I thought you said you could murder somebody with. I haven't seen any hands. footage of him with, with, uh, at all, actually. They, they showed off a little bit. Of, uh, they showed him, uh, showed him uh, like the 3D model of what he's gonna look like. Oh man! Uh, yeah. They showed it when they teased him. They teased him like uh, uh, last year. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I, I, I didn't yeah, remember so seeing it. They um, they teased what he looks like and everything like. That, but it's like he fights with one arm, so boo. Boo, I say. Yeah, so, apparently the last person he fought with two hands was um um what you call it? his father. Grandfather. Yeah, grandfather, because uh, they uh, he can match uh, him. Karen's uh, grandfather. Yeah, Karen's grandfather. Yeah, yeah. So the thing and is, it was like a battle coming. that lasted for like days. Like yeah, geez. yeah. Like he's like, now that was fun, you know. I, I like the banter between him and um um 
him and uh, 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 not Zangief. Uh, so, Sim, uh, Sim, actually, Sim. actually, what they're saying also is uh, they're going to be showing off, just, of course, discussing Rose because Rose is like here. For the Every, yeah, everybody's wearing a Marvel. I didn't realize how popular she was until like all the feedbacks. Like, yeah, Rose in the gang, definitely. Yeah, I'm uh, like Oro. Rose. Rose What's that? I was like Rose. I seemed. I was thinking like Rose over Monat. Monat seems strong still. Yeah, but Rose has a lot of stuff that people have liked for a long time, and I wonder how they're gonna like make her all gimmicky. Uh, and also, uh, they're gonna talk of, of course about Oro, and as well as there's new mechanics that they're gonna be talking about that are coming out at the end of the year. As well, huh. so I wonder what they're gonna add. I mean, we already got V Shift, which I've been using. Um, so uh, uh, V Shift, V Shift, I don't think still hasn't been. Like used to his greatest potential yet. Nah, uh, but it's, but uh, I'm wondering what else options gonna, though. What do you think they're gonna add uh, to the game? What else can they add? I don't know, man. Like uh, I, a sec. I mean, people have been saying a second super for like ever. Like another yeah, utility kind of neat having like a second super. Because I mean, they've done that in other titles where they just yeah. add, a, add an additional super. Well, I mean, the fact that you have two V triggers, why wouldn't you have two supers? You know what I mean? That's what's in the game. You got grounded supers and you got um, air, air super, basically. Right. Uh, I think the only characters that have two supers technically would be um, hmm, uh, uh, Akuma and Akuma. Kage. That's right. Kage does, yeah, because they have the yeah. demons. He has a raging like demon that. and he has his, the, the Shinshoryuken. Yeah, um, so I think that'd be cool. But I mean, you know, even though I think V-Shift is great and everything like that, and I think it's still not being used to its great potential, any kind of defensive options you put in the game is going to make it better. Yeah, I, I, I mean, well, a game that's so momentum and offensive base heavy, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like even though uh, V ship is great that you can like, um, and V ship I think is really fair too because you can get stuffed if you do V ship at the wrong time. Um, yeah. So and and the fact that you can you don't have to so V ship is the slide back and then there's the V ship move. You could just slide back and punish somebody. Or you can do the entire move out there. So it's a it's a lot. Like I, I hit it on Kyle Colleen one time, and like I was, it just felt so good because she was doing her stupid skates and everything like that, and yeah. everything. I hit I hit a V shift, and then I hit a back leg on it. Like wow, it's like oh. oh, oh. Yeah, I got. I haven't I haven't touched uh, Street Fighter in a good little minute. I got. I, I haven't played it since the V shift has been uh, introduced into uh, as a game mechanic in the game. So I gotta I gotta see how it yeah. feels. I can got buffs, so I mean slightly buffs. I wouldn't even call them buffs. He, <sighs> He's better. I just put it like that. Another game. Wow, you're, like, you can't even, you can't even. You're so upset. Another game that uh, I hadn't touched in a while, but um, showing a lot of love to. Um, if you guys uh, check out the page, me and uh, Shadow Shell 88, you know, we do our, our fighting game streaming on Sundays. Uh, shout out to Tony Z's. That was definitely in the building. Uh, so Tony Z's there. was there, not Tony Tony Z showed up. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, no. uh, I, I, I assume he needed some, some uh, sleep from whatever it is that he needs sleep from. So um, we put on some uh, some uh, uh, some Soul Calibur Six. Uh, and I, I remember uh, Shadow Show '88. He got like third place alone in the first tournaments over uh, here. I don't think it was CEO. I think it was one of the other ones over here. But um, yeah, Hawaii came out about three months ago. But we're just getting on it, and he seems pretty pretty OP. Uh, pretty OP to the point that like he has a he has a thing on his. He's a stance character, which I don't remember being a stance character. But to do right. some of the moves in his stance, he has to basically, uh, he, he has like three of them he can use during the match. Uh, you can gain five of them in the second one. But if he uses too many of his stances, his heavenly stances, you take damage on the beginning of the next round. So uh, check the video out. The latest character. He's a ninja. Kind of, sort of. He's like doing like some stealth Chinese like oh. fighting. Oh, magic. magic. So my talisman led me to you. He's so cool. Nightmare will 
devour your soul! No, my true strength! There's no escape! Purifying blade! Yep, that's all of them. Do you think they're gonna do a uh, third season? I, I, I don't see why they wouldn't. Disciple of darkness, you would do well to fear my shadow. I am the light that strikes down evil. Long. And you get a bunch of custom customizable characters. You know how they do with uh, with uh, um, Soul Calibur, customize the heck out of the character. But um, he was really dope. If you haven't seen any of the um, any of the uh, the gameplay, gameplay is amazing. We did some really stupid combos that you should not be able to do. But um, the game's just really fun. That sounds about right. The game is fun. I, just, I haven't. That's another game I haven't played in a good little minute. So you Calibur. know what? You can just straight out block their reversal edge now. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Like usually, reversal edge. If you held it, you automatically had to like take part in it. You can just right. straight up block reversal edge now. Really? Yeah, you don't have to deal with it at all. I mean, like of course, if you're if somebody's doing if you're doing like an attack, like you're like oppressive with the attack, um, mm -hmm. you know, you can do reversal edge and get out of it. But if you just you know nobody can just go up to you, do reversal edge, and force you into a situation more. You can just block it. That's interesting. Yeah, I like so. to see. I like to see uh, uh, how the game is. The uh, gameplay is because I played it like vanilla, basically. So. Yeah, they're like they're like um, uh, uh, the update 5.0 or something like that now. And the, and, the, and you know what? The, the online wasn't that bad either. So right. uh, yeah, definitely yeah, go ahead uh, and. Uh, I because I, I played a couple online stuff uh, and it was still kind of janky when I was still playing, but it wasn't like horrible. It was so kind of janky. Yeah, I think one of it the wasn't like that, Tekken level bad sometimes. Like, yeah, one of the things Tekken's they did with rough. that one when they learned from Tekken when it came out was the fact that they made it like eight frames negative anyway in the regular game. So when you go online, there's not really much of a difference between playing it online and playing it like it's like, yeah, we're going to give you this delay in the base game. So like you so the so delay is going to feel the same online and offline, which actually right. worked. In there. And I'm not sure if they went and did the rollback patch like they did in Tekken. But uh, it felt really good. We only had one match that was janky, and uh, we played for about an hour and a half, so it was pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I I might jump back on it. I, I got to jump back on Te our, our Street Fighter. Got to jump back on that. But Guilty Gear is right around the corner. Like so best much. time to be a fighting game man, right? You know what I'm saying? It's it's, 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 it's coming. Then we're gonna have you know Street Fighter Six and uh, 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 um, Melty Bloods coming. Like it, we got a lot. We got a lot coming. Uh, and I didn't even talk about uh, uh, the fact that. Um, uh, um, what's called is going Sega is probably bringing out another, um, uh, a uh, virtual fighter. Virtual we'll save fighter, that, yeah. yeah, we'll save that for tomorrow and uh, talk about the possible, um, we might be possible. Harada might be actually involved in that, so yeah, I gotta really? learn more about this story. Yeah, he might be involved in uh, making it a uh, tournament fighter. So he basically, had, Tekken, uh, Tekken 2, yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, Tekken Light. It's just gonna be uh, another Tekken. Just yeah, Virtual yeah. Fighter is just gonna be another Tekken. I mean, Tekken is already a sequel based, a, a spiritual successor to the original Virtual Fighter. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual, but this is gonna be like Tekken. So they say. Uh, so all right, we might as well just say it now. So uh, Harada basically in a um, interview uh, with the with the roundtable talk. You know they had in Japan. He said that we need to get Sega here uh, for the next one, right? And now. Uh, uh, Retro Fighter uh, Five Ultimate Edition. Uh, they're, they're, Sega's doing some stuff that's probably going to be the next esports ring, and Harada might be the person who's probably like spearing them on to do it. Like, go ahead, push, go ahead, you guys got it, bring it back. So, well, more on that story tomorrow. We've had a, it's been forever since we've had a Virtual Fighter. So, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, people are still playing that game too. Like, and not not in America, of course, but uh, uh, you can only get it on PS3. So they're trying to port that over the PS4 to make it where you can play it on PS5. And I mean, remember there was a lot of uh, Virtual Fighter people that was brought into the um, Dead or Alive series. And yep. so there's been things done, but I think there might be some behind the scenes push from the, that round table talk. A lot of things happen from that round table talk. Yeah, that's Ooh. another series that we haven't really seen. Well, we haven't seen a good title in a good little minute. It was uh, yeah. Virtual, uh, not Virtual Fighter, uh, uh, Dead or Alive. Yeah. The, the last one was kind of yeah, 
Uh, yeah, last it, it, it it's, it's the the way they did the DLC was pretty dirty, bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really bad. Yeah, the game was actually good. The, D, the way they handled the, the pricing and stuff was really bad. Um, but um, that's gonna do it for this uh, week's Good Morning Gamer. Good morning, FGC. We'll highlight you guys tomorrow. Uh, more virtual fighter uh, talk for me and the other stuff. I'm Red K. I'm the Lonely Wolf by choice. I'll be good. Be safe. Keep playing games, and I'm out. Peace.